Hello YouTube Pipe Pals. Today is a video response to Big Smoke Phil. He's having his 150 subscriber giveaway. Um, he asked a few questions. Um, Phil, you're going to be very disappointed in some of my answers. Uh, been smoking a pipe for a little more than 10 years now and I really don't remember the, uh, the answers to some of these. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, you guys. Uh, first off, I'm smoking my Knott's pipe. Beautiful plateau. Some plateau over there, too. Love this pipe. Great little smoker. Love how it looks on me. <laughs> and in it has some hamburger beer master. Hamburger beer master. Good stuff. I really enjoy this blend. Oh, I'm also wearing, let me put this down. I am also wearing a know-it-all pipe club. It says leaders in our own mind. It's kind of fun. It's kind of a play on uh, <clears throat> we're all experts in our own mind kind of thing. Fun little shirt. Uh, so with the questions. Uh, the first one is why did I get into pipe smoking? Um, th this one's this one's pretty easy. Um, reflection, uh, relaxation, tradition, uh, it's family tradition. My grandfather smoked a pipe, my dad smoked a pipe. Um, I'm pretty sure, uh, my great grandfather smoked a pipe. Um, and so there's that, there's the romanticism, the, the class, the gentlemanly pursuits of pipe smoking. It ticks all the boxes for me, something I really enjoy. And I love collecting pipes and uh, trying tobaccos and enjoying my tobaccos that I love. My top shelf is full of my favorites. Maybe one day I'll go over my favorite tobaccos. At least my favorite right now. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, <laughs> the second question is, uh, what was your favorite pipe? Well, I, I don't know. Um, I don't remember my first pipe. Probably one my dad had that I borrowed, that he lent me. <laughs> um, this is one of uh, my grandfather's pipe. But I don't believe this was my first one. I think I was well into pipe smoking before I, I grab this one. Uh, it's a Mastercraft. Uh, got a big old sand pit right there. Anyway, um, I don't think this is the first one. I know that um, I used to restore a lot of pipes and maybe some of my first pipes are uh, ones that are restored. I go onto eBay and I'd have a bunch of uh, estate pipes and uh, purchase a lot of them and uh, restore them or throw them away if they were crap but um but i've given away 90 percent of those i have a few i have this uh yellow bull uh bulldog and i have this dr graybo um this dr graybo is kind of fun it's a uh, threaded with a threaded shank so it'll never loosen up on you and you can take it apart and <laughs> when it's still warm and wet, take it apart and clean it up. Um, it's a little TLC, but I kind of like the rustication. Uh, I have those sitting out because my brother has uh, moved down here. Um, he came in last night. I think he got in around 3 o'clock uh, this morning. And I'm going to go over there today and help them unpack Um and I'm going to give my brother those pipes. Well, not my grandfather's pipe. That one stays with me. That's a special one. It'll stay right there. But I'll give him those other ones. And maybe one of these other ones. First tobacco. Third question. I don't know. <laughs> uh, when I first got into pipe smoking, I was, uh, really loved the aromatic blends. Um... And so I think I went on to Pipes and Cigars or one of the online retailers and uh, bought a bunch of aromatic tobaccos. Um, one of which is the Peter Stockaby's uh, Black Vanilla and 
Peter Stockaby's champagne and Peter Stockaby's cherry bonbon. I'm looking down at my bottom shelf of all the aromatics. Which one was the first? I really don't know. I guess I can give you a, a class of tobacco and that'd be uh, aromatics. Um, do I still smoke my first pipe and my first tobacco? <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> I do still smoke uh, those pipes every once in a while. In fact, um, uh, these are the ones I usually take, uh, either camping or canoeing or kayaking or whatever, because if I do um, snap the, uh, the stem off or whatever, it's not a huge loss. I don't take my really nice pipes out. So these usually are my traveling pipes, which we passed on to my brother. Um, <laughs> my first tobacco. I know my dad and my grandfather smoked half and half with a cherry Cavendish kind of mixed in there. Um, that may have been my first one. Uh, may have uh, uh, pinched a few bowls of that. That may have been my first tobacco. Um, I haven't smoked that in a long time. I don't think I have any half and half. I do have a cherry Cavendish down there somewhere. Sorry, Phil. Not much of a not much of an answer <laughs> to your questions, but uh, I, I just really I really don't remember. Uh, congratulations, and many more to come. I'm sure. Uh, keep those videos rolling in, and farewell and following seas until we meet again. Bye, YouTube.